Let's talk about one of the biggest myths in medicine, the idea that vaccines cause autism. You've probably heard it before, but where did that idea even come from, and why do scientists say that it's not true? I'm Emily Brindley, I'm the health reporter at the Dallas Morning News, and let's walk through why scientists are so sure that this theory is false. The theory can be traced back to 1998, when a British doctor named Andrew Wakefield published a paper claiming that the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine could be linked to autism. It sounds scary, right? Well, other scientists immediately tried to test it. There was a flurry of research. If the theory was true, we would see it in those findings. For instance, kids who didn't get vaccinated would have lower rates of autism than kids who did get vaccinated. But here's the thing, in study after study, researchers did not find a link between the MMR vaccine and autism. And we're talking about some seriously massive studies here. There were some studies that looked at half a million children and found even then that vaccinated children did not have a greater risk of autism than unvaccinated children. So what does cause autism? Research shows show that it's mostly genetic, meaning that it starts even before a baby is born. So when doctors say vaccines don't cause autism, they're not just repeating a line, they're summarizing dec decades of research. If you see this myth floating around again, now you know where it came from and why science has fully debunked it.